Hi, my name is Josie. Thank you very much for tuning back. I would like to touch you today in regards to something related to my previous video that it was called I would like to try a transgender. On that video, I talked about what are the uh, uh, the reasons when you say that phrase, how that actually really tells me about you. But some of the causes actually are really, uh, there's something more than just what meets the eye. And what I mean by that is because we, like people have preconceptions about who we are based on notions of the porn industry. Let's be realistic. You're basing a lot of your information based on porn. Real life, <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but real life does not work as porn. <sighs> so, if you think that we jump at you like prostitutes on gold, that we're sluts, so we're ready for you, fireworks everywhere. Even though we take testosterone blockers and estrogen, so our libido, instead of being like way here before transition, now it is like down to hell. Yeah. What you're actually describing, sweetie, is a shemale. I'm not gonna talk in details about it. But that's what you want. Or it could be that you're even bisexual. You just don't know it. One of the things that a lot of men actually say, like, when I say, like, what would you like to be with a transgender? Oh, it's because I like to, uh, I like women in, but... Uh, I just like to suck on it or get in the back, you know? I'm like, okay. But I don't want to do... Uh, I don't like men. So when you go down there, you're just like... Just close your eyes and pretend that... I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> You see, if you like something, own it. Just don't be making, like, making stuff up. And be honest and open about it. That means that your family and friends know about it. It's, it's infuriating the fact that if you don't want people to find out that you like a transgender, that we actually took a lot of courage and a lot of effort to go through a transformation and go in from being in the closet. <laughs> well, not that closet, even though that's my closet. Being in the closet to come out of the closet. And then you tell us that it's time to go back. I just remember South Park. <laughs> Josie, he's sat in the closet. I want to stay here. But you see, it's the preconceptions that you have, if they don't fit of what you believe, that's going to make you furious. Might as well make you furious right now because instead of like in front of a person that actually is telling you these things and trans people if a person is not paying attention to your persona and is wants you to be what they want you to be 
run the hell away from there. Just run away from it. It's not your last opportunity. It will never be your last opportunity. Have respect for yourself. And understand that you're, because the fact that you are a human being, you deserve not to be told what you have to be. Period. I don't tell people what to do, like what to be. I just like people for who they are. And I like a, I don't like a lot of people <laughs> just because of who they are. You see? It doesn't have to be just one way. We are when you have a relationship with a transgender, it's pretty much having a relationship with any person or a cisgender female for that matter. We are also subject to remember gender identity and sexual orientation. There's transgenders that only like transgenders. They only will date transgenders. Why? Because only a transgender will know what a transgender goes through. Period. Whatever. There's transgenders that are trans women that like women only. They don't like transgender transgender women. They only like cisgender females. Same thing with uh, trans men. So just because you think that one fits a profile, it doesn't mean that it fits the mold. So just take that into consideration. Be aware that there is more than just what meets the eye. That we have personalities, that we're human beings, we have feelings, sometimes we possess some humor, yeah, sometimes. Everybody wants to be loved in this world. Sometimes, get, sometimes people get it and sometimes people don't. Don't worry about it. That's too much for one day. Until the next time, keep on smiling. Bye!